Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. I'm here with another dream, y'all. In this dream, I am leaving from a party, okay? And after I leave from this party, I'm basically waiting for a bus. So I go to a bus stop. However, while I'm waiting, a guy who was at the party, he was present at the party, um, he's getting a ride from his mom and he asks he decides her to ask her to um, pick me up and give me a ride. And she does. When I get in the car, she starts asking a ton of questions about me. Like, she got all the questions. And it makes me very uncomfortable. Because it's like, she's not just asking any old questions, y'all. She is asking extra, like, extra... Um, like, she's probing questions, like, extra, like, she's, uh, like, it's super, like, baby. Anyways, while she's asking these questions, her son is answering, okay? So, it's like, she intends for me to answer these uncomfortable questions, but her son is answering for me, and he's telling her very nice things, very good things about me, and, um... She ends up being very happy with his responses. However, it's like simultaneously she's not happy because it's like she's happy that the responses are good. Um, but she's not happy because she sees that her son likes me and she doesn't like it. Okay. <laughs> she does not like it. She is not happy with the fact that he he's fond of me. The scripture comes from Psalm 37 and 31. The law of their God is in their hearts. Their feet do not slip. The wicked lie and wait for the righteous, intent on putting them to death. But the Lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked or let them be condemned when brought to trial. So this scripture is like on, like, like on the nail, like the, like specifically y'all. So this is someone that intends to put you on trial and it's going to be a situation like this. This is going to be a situation where your spouse, the person that you're intended to be with, their family or their mother is going to ask so many questions about you with every intent of making you uncomfortable, with every intent of making you feel uneasy. Like this is intended to make you... um. I just feel like it's a mixture between they don't want you to deal with this person anymore. Um, and it's also um, to make you feel not so good about yourself. Like, I just feel like um, for some of you, it's not like as a mom to a boy, I can understand a mother and um, her son's relationship. And it's kind of like, you know, it can be a little frustrating when your son has picked somebody. And this person is going to basically be you're sharing your son with somebody else. But a long story short, and in reality, it's a it's it's a matter of time before it happens, unless your son likes men. Okay, otherwise you are going to have to share your son with somebody. It's gonna happen. Long story short, if unless if you want grandchildren, you better hope that your son does like a girl and he does become fond of her and he does want to get married and he does like otherwise then like you know what i'm saying i just feel like this woman's feelings were kind of it was frustrating for her i could sense it and it made me uneasy and it was kind of like she wanted to make me feel unconfident about myself. She wanted to make me feel bad. She was trying to make me look bad in front of her son. And it's like what she was expecting is that her son wouldn't say anything. And that it would just be her ganging up on me with question after question after question. Putting me in a very uncomfortable position. To make me like, you know what, y'all can just stop right here and I'll walk back to the bus stop. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like, um, for whoever this is for, this is a test for this man or young man. This is going to be his test because it's a difference between somebody that intentionally will leave you out to dry. 
Like, I just feel like somebody that will just leave you to just, oh, well, whatever happens, happens. And whatever, we'll see if she passed this. Ha ha ha. And I just feel like that was the mom's intention were to kind of like probe me and harass me until I finally get home. And then when I get home, she go, uh, they pull off and they're laughing and joking and talking about me for the rest of the night. I would be their, their uh, source of entertainment for the day. But because the young man liked me, it wasn't what she thought it was going to be. So like I said, she was happy with what he responded because it showed her that I wasn't the kind of person she assumed for me to be. However, she was not happy with the responses because it let her know that her son liked me and that he wasn't going to allow her to just attack me. And that was frustrating to her because that's what she's used to. And now she is feeling as though, okay, my son likes her. So she's on our team. And it's kind of like, I just feel like she felt as though it was a position to where either she get with, get with it or get lost kind of situation to where, okay, if my son is defending her, like th it was a situation where she couldn't even attack me because her son was defending me. And he was kind of shutting down all the attacks that she directed towards me. So I'm being reminded of a video that I saw where a guy was going around and he was interviewing couples and there were two couples that stood out that were uh placed together that it, everywhere okay but anyways um he's asking the couples the same question in one um instance the man defended her and told her no i'll answer and he answered for her defending her whereas in the other video the woman was answering for herself the man did not defend her he did not jump in or object to anything he laughed along with the guy, with the interviewer. And I just feel like God is saying that there's a difference between a man who genuinely loves you and cares about you so much that he is not going to allow someone to attack you like that. Like anytime this it's a red flag when a man feels as though it's okay for him to leave you to be questioned are hit with a bunch of question and a bunch of, uh, how do I say it? Like attacking and gaslighting by his mom. And you know, most men know this. They know. They know. They'll act like they don't know, but they know when their mama don't like somebody. And in reality, she not gonna like nobody that is uh attached to her son because she don't want nobody with her son. And you know, like, it, it, I, I just feel like it's just, it, nobody is going to be good enough nobody and if that man is not standing on his 10 toes down and he's not standing strong and tall and telling his mama mama don't attack her or if he is not going to ensure that his mother is not attacking you then that is a tall tale sign that man don't really like you like that if i were you and you were me and this is coming from my own experience i would just leave you ain't gotta answer the questions because if he really cared about you, he would be present. Why would he leave you to feel as though you're being ganged up on and you're being bullied and you're being harassed? And that's the end of it. And you know, that's I, I, I learned that. I have learned that. No, you're not finna just, no, you're not finna just have me standing there having to defend myself. I don't feel like doing that. I'm not going to do that. I don't feel like I should do that. If you really love me the way you say you do, you will defend me. You will stand up for me. You will have my back. Because when you get married, you are a team. It's not a situation where um, y'all are enemies. Y'all are not enemies. Y'all are not playing against each other. And if somebody has that kind of mindset where they feel like they playing against you, they are not your teammate, then guess what? You don't need to be married to them because they see you as an enemy. Why would you want to be married with your enemy? I'm being reminded of the message that I released yesterday. How are you going to win if you are going against your own teammates? You going to lose. So for whoever this is for, um, pay attention to this 
And, you know, just like I said, it's a situation. It's not a situation where God wants this man to completely go against his mother and be disrespectful. No, that is not the message here. It is not the intentions in any shape, form, or fashion. However, if this mother is trying to stand in between him and his wife, if this mother is trying to pull him against his wife and turn him to go the other way, his wife wants him to get her something for Christmas, and his mother is telling him, you don't have to spend your money on her. Well, guess what? His mama is calling, causing problems. Mama is causing problems. If he wants to get his wife a birthday gift and mama is saying, no, you shouldn't get her nothing. Mama is causing problems. It don't matter how mama feel. About, she, like, it don't have nothing to do with her. And you know, I just feel like for whoever this is for, this is going to be a situation where this man is going to have to make a choice. He's going to have to decide, does he really want to be with you? Because it don't matter who he get with. He is going to be put in a position to where he is going to have to tell his mama no. And it's not going to be mean. It's not, I'm not saying to be disrespectful. I'm not saying to be like outlandish, but he is going to eventually have to tell his mama no, because he's going to realize if he don't tell his mama no, he is going to lose whoever he's with. Because nobody is just going to stand around and allow that person's mama, this man mama to control their entire relationship. It can't happen because guess what? If mama is in the driver's seat, mama is going to do everything that she can to tear them apart because she don't want her son spending any time with this woman. She don't want her son being around this woman. She want her son with her and she want to make it like it was to where he was her baby boy. And it ain't nothing wrong with the boy, uh, a young man being his mother's baby boy. It's nothing wrong with the mama's boy and all that. But it, 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 it you have to draw a line. And when a man reaches a certain age and it's time for him to find a wife, she needs to allow him to find a wife. Unless she is not interested in her uh her name carrying on. She don't want any grandchildren or nothing like that. And you know, even if this mother has gone all out and to such an extent that she's trying to um embrace her son liking men and she wants her son to be in those kind of relationships, Lord have mercy, I pray, I pray with all my heart and soul, but for somebody, it could be a situation where this mother intended for this son to feel, have these feelings, so she might have set him up or something like that, so that he wouldn't have feelings towards women, but she can't come in between what this man feels when it comes to God, because if God touch him, God, if God touches him and turns his heart a certain way and makes him feel like it's nothing that she can do. And I just feel like for whoever this is for, God is saying that you may have had to experience men that will intentionally put you in a position to where their mother was ganging up on you, bullying you and harassing you, and you had done nothing. And accusing you of this, that, and the third. And trying to make you out to be a big bad wolf when you were not. God said, when it is time for you to be with somebody, that man is not going to do that. He is not going to, he's not going to pull out the big guns. And then you looking for it and here come mama. And she got a thousand questions written down on a piece of paper. You don't have nothing to prove to her. No way. You're not married to her. So why do you have to answer her questions? Ain't got nothing to do with her. Whew. It, it'll be a different story if you know, like you, you living with her, something like that. But even then, you know what I'm saying? I know that there are some cultures where that's what they do. And I understand that. But, you know, at a certain point, if a man truly wants to be married and he wants to have his own family and he want to be head of household, he needs to get his own house. Why would he want to stay with his mama anyway? Anyways, I just feel like God is saying that you should not be put in a position to where you got to sit and you got to answer a questionnaire. Okay. You should. And then on top of that, I just feel like this is not just a questionnaire where someone is trying to see where your head at as far as how you feel about their son. But this is a questionnaire as in to embarrass you. 
as in to cause you stress, as in to cause you detachment from this man. Like this may be a situation where this man been sitting around having pillow talk with his mama. Selling his mama all your business and telling his mama, you said this and he think that and he assumes this and I think this and he like all these questions that he could ask you himself. And instead of him asking you himself, he want to call his mama so that she can step in. And in reality, if he don't want to be with you, then he could just say that. And that's what it is. Just like in his dream, this man, there was no, it, it wasn't like somebody was forcing him to pull over and pick me up. Yeah, he may have felt some kind of way like, oh, no, I don't want her to have to ride the bus home. But uh-uh, I'd rather ride the bus home than somebody harass me. At least if I'm on the bus, I don't have to worry about nobody harassing me with a thousand questions. I can put my headphones in and put my feet up and just ride until I get to where I'm going. And nobody got time for that. And nobody got time for that. Nobody's going to want to deal with that. And I just feel like this man, he may even, you know, if you've had to deal with that before, he may have even used an excuse of, well, you look like you needed me. You look like you needed my help. You look like you need, you didn't need them. You didn't need nobody to sit down trying to har harass you with all these questions. And make you feel as though you are just so small. If that's the case, then why in the world is he talking to you anyway? He could have left you going where you was going and doing what you was doing. And that's real. And you know, I just feel like in reality, um, God is saying that as far as this mother goes, she's going to have to get to a point in time, regardless if her son has been using her to make girls feel uncomfortable. I'm being reminded of the uh, movie Failure to Lunch. Whereas every time he was ready to break up with somebody, he would ask them to come home to meet his parents. And he would, uh, that was his way of breaking up with them because eventually they will find out that he hasn't he doesn't have a house of his own and he's still living at home with his parents and they will be like okay you're not ready for a relationship and that was his entire point that was his entire like that was the message he wasn't ready for a relationship so he would allow them to see that so that they would be like okay i'm running away and i'm gone Okay, and this wasn't even a situation where the mom wasn't mean. She would like for her son to meet somebody and she the dad wasn't mean. He would like for the but they knew what he was doing. And so I feel like for whoever this is for, God is saying that um, you should know that when a man truly loves you, and he truly wants to be with you. And he is truly serious about you. He is not about to allow nobody to stand before you and make you feel like you are this small and make you feel like you undeserving of this, that, and the third and make you feel like, I just feel like this is, it's not going to be a situation where you are going to be, um, you are not going to be forced into like you're not going to be forced into feeling inadequate you're not going to be forced into feeling as though you're not good enough and you're this and you're that i remember i was um uh, dating this guy and his parents had asked me here's my experience okay his parents were asking me a thousand questions trying to figure out something and they uh came out saying we know you used to be a stripper. I was like, I was never a stripper. Well, they said you was, I never said that. Oh, you calling them a lie? Well, I wouldn't want to call them a lie, but that show is a lie because I was never a stripper. Okay, <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> Period, that's the truth. They were not happy with my answers. They was frustrated. They thought they was about to just, no. No, I'm not fit to lie and say that I did something that I didn't do just because, like, and I don't care how y'all feel about it. Y'all want to know the truth. Well, here's the truth. It may not be what you want to hear. It may not be what you thought, but that's what the truth of the matter is. And I just feel like for whoever you are, God has said that when somebody really loves you, they're not going to do you that. 
they not finna put you in a position to where you are basically being, you know, and this is so they know, they know when they, they parents are like that. If they mom don't like the women that they date and that she loves to try to harass people and she loves to try to make people feel small and as if they are inadequate and they could just never come to be what she was. And, and you know, like, I, I just feel like, even in that situation, I'm just being reminded of how that conversation went. And she explained to me that she had to hustle when she was younger. And I'm just like, so what is your hustling intake of? And you sitting up here accusing me of being a stripper, acting as if that's just so bad, even though I never was a stripper. But yet it's still you talking like it's just it's nonsense. And I just feel like God is saying that you're not going to have to deal with that when you're dealing with a man. First of all, man, period, because no man is going to allow something like that to happen, regardless if he is in love with a woman or not. But for sure, for sure, when you're dealing with a man that is in love with you, he is not going to allow anybody to just gang up on you. He not going to allow nobody to put you in no corner. It don't matter if it's face to face or on the phone. If he know that his mama is mean, he is not going to make you feel as if you got to deal with her on your own. Like, yes, you're going to have to deal with her some uh, to some extent. Yes, you're going to have to be around her to some extent. But he's not going to put you in a position to where every time you talk to her, he running away here and he running away there and he's disappearing here. If he keep doing a disappearing act, guess what I do? A disappearing act. Apparently, you don't want me there. Because you're not going to keep leaving me because you don't want to see it. No, you stay right there. And if your mama is being mean to me, you need to step in. Because why Why in the world? Like, I just feel like for some of you, you have been in positions where somebody really wanted you to end up going toe-to-toe -to -toe with their mama. And I don't understand it. That don't make no sense. You know, if you really love somebody, first of all, you don't want them fighting your mama. And if you really love your mama, you definitely don't want nobody fighting your mama because you don't know who going to win. Let's be real. And I just feel like this is a situation. Baby, this is a situation where God is saying you ain't going to have to deal with that. You are not going to have to deal with that headache. You are not going to have to deal with that headache, baby. You are not going to have to deal with low if you don't want to be put in a position to where somebody got you on the phone with their mama, their mama being so disrespectful. You didn't cuss her out and hung up in her face. Baby, we don't want Don't nobody got time for that. Don't nobody got time for that. And if they know that their mama is the type, to act like they like somebody to their face, but they really saying little slick stuff and they saying little side stuff and they always got some smart to say and they really don't like them. They need to sit there and they need to talk to their mama. And, and you know, it's uh, ain't nothing wrong with it if it's a situation where the only thing you can say to mama is tell her I said hi and you keep on going. And they like, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But the Bible says that a man leaves his father and his mother and clings to his wife. Ain't no need for you to sit there and listen to his mama talk down on you because she mad that somebody else got her son heart. Don't nobody got time for that. And don't nobody should have, nobody should have to deal with that. But God is saying that this man is going to love you. And he is going to ensure that his mother is not trying to make you feel like you're not good enough for her son. That's the message. That's the message. And it even says it in the scripture. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom and their tongues speak what is just. Just like the example that I gave y'all when I said they was trying to accuse me of being a stripper. And I said, no, I'm not a stripper. And they said, well, he said you was a stripper. Well, he must he wasn't telling the truth. You're calling him a liar. That's fine. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to say that he's just a liar and he's the worst person on this earth. But that show is a lie because I was never a stripper. And that, like that's wisdom. It's not to say that he is, I'm not trying to put him down and say that he is the big bad wolf, but baby, that show is a lie. Maybe he misunderstood something or he heard something wrong because I show sure wasn't that. And that's the truth. The wicked lie and, and wait for the righteous intent on putting them to death. Just like the way they lied and said that I was something that I was not. They lied and accused me of something that I, that wasn't even true. 
And they intended to try to make me out to be a monster, depending on what I said. And they did it on purpose. But the Lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked or let them be condemned when put to trial. So God is saying, regardless if you had to go through this in the past, you had every amount of truth to defend yourself. And in the future, you will not be put to trial, nor will you be condemned because you will have a man that will stand by you and defend you the way a man is supposed to. And if he know that his mama is wicked and like to mess with people and like to bully people and like to try to push her weight around, he is going to ensure that he keep his mama away from you. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.